So this one is kind of a uh, follow-up story to another figure I bought from an anime convention. Um, so I had to go back and talk to the guy because the figure he sold me was broken. And I had to explain to him everything. It was a whole long thing. And then he felt bad or whatever because um, he sold me a broken figure. Because, um, yeah, it's, it's a long story. But anyways, at the end of the day, um, I was able to buy this from his booth. And he gave me a discount on it. Um, unfortunately, like, everything he had, like, I already pretty much had it, or it was stuff I didn't care too much about, so, that was kind of, uh, it took me longer than what I expected to dig through everything at his booth, but I didn't have, uh, the Taylor Moon, um, Eternal, uh, one. I have the same set from the 30th anniversary, but just their regular ones, I don't have the Eternal one. So I was missing this one, and so I got this one, um, he gave me, like, like, almost, like, $15 off, so it was, like, about $40, I think I ended up paying. It was it was pretty cheap. It wasn't it wasn't that bad. So I was like, yeah, I guess I'll grab it. Um, and then of course I made sure this one was brand new, um, or whatever. But uh, but yeah, so I got a, a a good deal on it. A figure I didn't have. Um, I wish he I wish he had a little bit more because I kind of wanted something else. I really didn't want to grab another Sailor Moon figure at the moment. You know, I like Sailor Moon, but um, I prefer the live action one. But I already have like all the figures that they've ever sold for that one so um pricing wise this was kind of like my next my next best best bet and something i didn't already have you know Ooh, this is different this is really nice i like this the presentation on this is really good really awkward little hand though on the top with a little claw to grab them but uh i like this a lot this looks really good so of course matching with the rest of the bases this like heart shape base to go uh, with them is really nice i really like this i mean it's really simple just you know wording design on the base but it's really nice and um i think the gloves are pearl yeah it's it's gonna be hard to see but okay, first down. there you go you can see it's like a more of a pearlescent ref kind of reflective -y, shimmery kind of to it ah, yeah it's not really showing up at all um but you get three pairs of hands which is a good amount the scepter the scepter looks really good. Yeah, the, the amount of detail on that's really good. Because, I mean, it's a really small piece. Um, it's a good amount of detail on that one. Interesting claw. I think it's because of her, her dress and everything. You have to have a special one to grab her. A um, little extender, extender piece. Now let's look at her three face plates that you get with her. So, including the one that she has on, you get four all together. Ooh, the little stars actually show up really good. Her eyes look really good. Her, like, kind of yelling, talking face. The the little gold accents look really, really good. Of course, it's probably going to look better on her with all her, with her dress and everything. So there we go. Again, her eyes, her eyes look really good. All the little gold accents. And the stars are really, really nice and easy to recognize. Um, even though it's so small, you're able to easily identify that those are stars <laughs> you know more serious oh i like the serious look the more serious let me try to get you a better zoom a more serious look at her there we go with the little with the little like line marks give you more definition and detail stop it you stop it okay here we go there we go see there we go but yeah really really nice overall and uh, it's going to look great when I have uh, them set up again all together with this next one. I do, I'm trying to get all of them, all of them. Because um, I know I have like the main five, but then there's like the other five that added on later. Uh, I'm trying to get all of them. To have all of them together, like action pose kind of thing. I think that would be really cool to have all of them like that set up in the display case. But not there yet. So I'm hoping I can get all of them and hoping they don't get too expensive and hoping they're all the animation color anniversary edition sets so i can have them all matching and here we go Ooh, i don't like i don't like the feeling of her wings her wings feel bad let me take off the other the other plastic sorry you guys 
take it off without damaging her. There we go. All right. She looks amazing. Wow. She looks really good. And her joint. Something is up with her joint. What is wrong, joint? Oh, it's crooked. Okay, there we go. So, starting off with, like, her boots, you can see that pearlized so much better. And just looking at her, she's starting to look way better than any other of the three Sailor Scouts. But the different colors and, like, the little pleatedness looks really good. That metallic-y gold on, like, her bracelet looks really good. And on her, yeah, and, like, the little wings up here on the upper sleeve look good, matching. Wow, dude, the, the colors, the details, the, the pearlescence. I don't like, the, the, the wings are a harder plastic for sure. But I'm not, I don't like the feeling of them. They, they feel like rough, like really rough, um, like a serrated -y, roughy texture to them. But her, her hair looks really good. And then it goes into this like more clear plastic, um, at the bottom for the tips. That looks really nice. Um, she looks really freaking good. The little ribbons on the back as well. There's a little bit of a, uh, what's it called? Some flashing. Oh no, the paint rubbed off. I had the paint rubbed off there somehow. Not sure how that happened. Um, but yeah, she looks really good. Yeah, she looks really good. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, she looks freaking really good. There's a couple gripes I have here and there, but overall, like, I feel like this is a really worth it because of the amount of um, paint on this um, that they did, like the different paint colors and stuff like that, the different styles of uh, stuff we're getting like this clear plastic and then the regular the pearlized stuff the gold the matte gold stuff it's a really nice figure like overall i'm really glad i i picked this one up um it's kind of hard to see the figures because when you when you buy them you know they're they're wrapped in 20 million layers of, of plastic now to prevent you know paint transfer which is okay but then you know the plastic from that um can kind of get in the way as well so she looks really freaking good. I, I really like it. And since, you know, she'll fit in fine with my Figmas and my other figures, you know, won't be as noticeable. But she looks really nice. Really good paint. Really different colors and, and different styles of stuff going on. I'm trying to get you guys a closer look. You know, different stuff going on. You can see the around her waist, her, like, pearlescent colors pop out more. Um... And like these little details, like the little wings right here on the side, sticking up and out. A little, uh, the joints are good. I thought it was a little loose, but no, the joints are good. Solid joints as well. But yeah, she looks really good. She looks freaking amazing. I really like how she turned out. Um, I know I, would, I grabbed it just because it was the only one that he really had that I didn't have yet. Um, and it was a really good price, but I was really irritated because the figure... He sold me, it, it, was a, it was a used figure, and uh, he told me that one part was broken, but then when I got home, another part was broken. Oh, snap. Another part was broken, and so then I had to wait and then find him again at the anime convention like a year later. And, you know, I had to prove it to him that it was broken, so it was like a whole mess. But um, at the end, uh, he was able to give me this one for cheaper, and it gets me closer to finishing up that set, you know. And so, um, yeah, overall, uh, really nice. I feel like this one is way more worth it because you're getting the figure has a lot going on you know but on top of that you're also getting like the scepter to the other face plates a good amount of hands because i mean there's a lot of hand posing and stuff like that um and then the base i love how the base is is custom done uh to match the other bases and and, and I, I think that's really cool when they have matching bases and and cool little inlay designs like this one does um so yeah, so this one is definitely way, way better in, in my opinion. And she looks she looks really good. Even though it's a pretty similar sculpt to Sailor Moon, there's there's a lot more different um and a lot more going on with this figure. And um she comes with the cat. Yeah, you get the cat with the other one. Um or whatever, but having all of them together it, it feels like so much more. So yeah, so definitely this one was a a good a good buy for sure. I'm gonna try to get you a another quick look. Uh, oh no, it's just a reflection. I thought it was off, but it's just a, the reflection of her boots. You know? But she looks freaking great. She looks really adorable. 
Alright, so um so that's all I got for this one. So uh thanks for watching.